it's day two of the animation challenge. I recently created this video animation for one of my clients. They were the founders of the Scottish Growth Summit and I just felt this would be a really nice way of showcasing the people behind the event and the spotlight effect which I will show you how to do in Canva and it's just a really nice effect like this. I have highlighted the people behind the event or you could even use it to reveal some new products that you're just launching. So it suits services and products. Now I'm just going to to use obviously just some placeholder images rather than the actual design that I've used with the clients and first of all I have found three headshot images and I'm just going to go in and remove the background of each one and then once I have the background removed I'm just going to resize so that they are equally the same, similar sizes to each other and place them like so on the page and as you can see in this slide that I have now resized them I'm happy where they are all placed but I've also added just this gradient blur effect as well because I don't want to show the harsh outline from the cut out of the image. Now on here you can see that if I select this and zoom out that it is a cut out image but what I'm going to show you is how we can get that effect. So what we need to do is start off with a blank page and uh, right so to get the cut out effect to work we first we have to add a box. Now we don't want the box to go edge to edge and I'll explain why in a wee second. I'm going to make it black. We're then going to add a circle element which we will make exactly in the middle and change it to white as well. We then want to download this page and we just need the current page. Click done and download and then we went to go to our uploads, go to our downloads folder and re-add it to our design. We'll then click on a new page and we're going to add the image back in and this time we're going to go to edit photo and we're going to click background remover and now you'll notice that it has left us this hollow shape in the middle which is what we want. Now if we hadn't done that and for example if we had added one that completely filled the page when we go to edit photo click background remover what it's now done is it's actually removed the black part rather than the circle this is why we have to leave a little bit of space to get this effect to work now once we have this cut out image i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it onto the page that i am using You'll notice that the hole is quite small and it also has this edge here so we want to hide that but I also don't want it to be completely opaque. I'm just going to change it to a 90% transparency. It's, this is just so we can very slightly see what's in the background. We are then going to enlarge if I just zoom out here so that the circle is the size we want it to be and then once it's the size we want it to be I'm just going to change this transition down to for a second. I'm going to duplicate the page and in this one we're going to move the spotlight till it's on the other face. Then we'll duplicate and then we'll move the spotlight till it's on the last space. So once we've got the spotlights in position for each page we need to go between the two pages and add a transition. And we're going to go to match move and you can already see when I hover across that it's starting to move into the second position and then add the other match and move so that it now goes to the third position. So now when I play this, so just with a few quick and simple steps, we then have the spotlight effect. Before you go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss all 30 tutorials. I'll be posting them every single day.